Hello Spartans, welcome back to another Doom Eternal video. In today's video we're going to be talking about what happened to the family of the Doom Slayer and see just how tragic all of this is. But you want to know what's even more tragic? That 70% of my daily viewers are not subscribed. So if you enjoy the videos I produce and want to see everything related to Doom Eternal and its DLC content, consider subscribing and leave a like. If this video reaches 10,000 likes, I'll play H Doom with my girlfriend two times in a row. Thanks for the support and enjoy the video. Also, tomorrow, Nintendo America is going to unveil its new Smash character, so fingers crossed it is Doom Guy or the Slayer, or at least someone that is not for, from Far Emblem, god damn it. But anyways, let's get into the video. I want you to imagine something for me. I want you to put yourself in the boots of this marine. Just imagine, you get sent to a mass research facility as punishment for doing the right thing. You get separated from your family for years on end. You haven't seen your son and wife for at least a third of a decade. And you wonder how they have been, if they are okay, if they are safe. You are missing your son's most precious and beautiful years, and all you want now is that your deployment ends so that you can go back home to your loved ones. Just imagine that, you are closer every day to see your family, and all of a sudden, despair. A distress call is sent from one of the Martian moons, Phobos, stating that an experiment, a test, has gone terribly wrong, and that Vimus, the other Martian moon, has disappeared from orbit, nowhere to be seen. You are sent with your squad to the Phobos space station to see what the hell just happened. Just imagine that. You were one step closer to see your family, but now a giant obstacle is between you and your loved ones. You get told to secure the perimeter and guard space shuttle while your team searches for survivors. A couple minutes pass and you lose contact with your squad, decide to enter the facility only to see everyone and your squad dead. Their bodies look like if they were killed by a huge monster, battle-hardened soldiers that were the best of the best, beaten without putting a fight. And then it hits you. This might be it. You may never see your family again. It's kill or be killed. It's do or die. All of a sudden, a hellish creature approaches from the shadows, and that's when you discover that the monsters you're about to fight against are nowhere near as soft and delicate as they were described in the ancient texts. Big, horned demons lusting for human blood. That's when you encountered the demons from the hell dimension. You are a soldier, one of the very best the world can offer. You swore an oath that you will serve and protect the people from your world, and that includes your family. The fear of losing your family, your wife and son is greater than the fear of losing your own life. You turn that fear into power, power that will give you the strength to make sure your family doesn't experience what you have. This is an all-out invasion on humanity, and if you do not stop the demons here, everything you love will be lost. So you just push forward without looking back. No matter how big the foe, how dangerous, how vile, you will kill it. In the name of humanity, you will be their savior, their shield and sword. You will remain unbroken as your fight has just begun. With the release of Doom Eternal, its software retconned some of the things that happened in the original Doom games from 93 and 94. In the classic games, Doom Guy was just a marine that fought the legions of hell because they basically appeared in front of him on Mars, and because they killed his pet rabbit Daisy. Now, in Doom Eternal, that is still very much true. The demons from Hell killed his rabbit all the way back when Hell invaded the 7th dimension. But, canonically, 
that is not the only reason why the Doom Slayer hates the demons with all of his might. Well, yes, they are demons, yes, they kill humans, and yes, they were about to destroy all of humanity by sucking up the earth, the Doom Slayer hates the demons with all of his might because he lost his family thanks to the demons from hell. Now, it is not stated outright that the demons killed his family, both his wife and son. In the base game, the con maker says to the Doom Slayer that if he turns his back to the events happening on this earth, she will return him what the demons took from him so long ago. Now, this can mean two things. One, that the demons took from him his family, that they killed them basically. Or two, that the demons took from the Slayer the ability to see his family again. That's the impression that the Khan Maker left on a ton of players. Is the Doom Slayer's family dead or not? Well, there are some cut voice lines of the con maker that expand on this topic. These voice lines were meant to be on the game, but they were replaced by other that were better written in the minds of the developers and ones that didn't reveal that much lore. Stop your foolish war now, and I will give you what you desire. I will send you back to your home, the Earth world in the seventh dimension, before the time of the demons. You may live there again as before. No memory of all the suffering you have been through. All your loved ones will be there, waiting to embrace you again, as if you had never left. According to the con maker, if the Slayer stopped right then and there in Sentinel Prime, she would have given him what he desired the most, to be sent back to his home, the Earth world of the seventh dimension, to a time before the demons appeared and no memory of his eternal suffering. But why? Why would she send the Slayer back in time? to a time where the demons didn't invade, in the seventh dimension. The Doom Slayer volunteered to go to Mars in Doom 64 and put an end to everything. He killed the mother demon and decided to stay in hell. When he killed the sister resurrector, she sent the Doom Slayer to Argentinur in an unknown dimension, and billions of years before humanity rised on the Earth world of that dimension. Not only does this confirm that the Khan Maker can send subjects back in time, they do exist, and by they I mean heaven outside the boundaries of space and time. They exist outside the bubble. They exist in the ever-expanding original universe. Still, if she desires to gift the Slayer the ability to see his family by sending him back in time, then that means that in the current timeline, in the present Earth world of the seventh dimension, his family is already dead and that humanity has perished to the claws of hell. We have seen in the current Doom universe that once hell is set on destroying your world, it will not stop until everything is dead. And without the help of the Slayer, all hope is gone. The Con Maker also states that the Doom Slayer brought a world to extinction in the past, and that could mean either Argentinur or the Earth world of the seventh dimension. It is possible that after the Slayer decided to stay back in Hell, some time later the demons were able to come back, and with the Slayer nowhere in sight, they were able to destroy the Earth completely. So, even if the Khan Maker sent the Slayer back to his homeworld, 
he would only find dead and despair, as there is nothing left, and that is amazingly tragic. It doesn't make sense for the con maker to send the Slayer back in time with no memory of the things that have happened. If that is what the Slayer desires the most, then having memory of what happened should be a must. If he has no memory of what happened in the past, him being on Sentinel Prime, or the Denner, him becoming the Slayer and all that stuff, then he will just see his family rot away, as he is basically immortal. He will see his loved ones die once again. He will see his son turn old and die. He will see his wife turn old and die. I guess that instead of the con maker sending the Doom Slayer to his Earthwell of the Seventh Dimension, she will trick him and send him back to another unknown dimension and trap him forever. That is very much plausible. We're talking about the con maker here. She will do anything to get rid of the Slayer as he is, basically, the progenitor of the Makers. He is the one that will bring destruction to the Makers if he is not destroyed. But yes, I find it amazingly tragic that the Slayer, even though he is powerful beyond belief, he wasn't able to save the things that mattered the most to him, and that is his wife and son. I really hope it's software expands on this story with the DLCs, as this is Extremely tragic, and also I'm extremely curious to know what happened. We know that even though Doom Eternal made the older games canon, Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 64, they also retconned some of the things, so I would want to know how was the Slayer's past in the Earth world of the seventh dimension in the universe, in the current universe of Doom? I really want to know what's up with that. But, anyways. Thanks for watching. And so, case but since I did this video like what four months ago, back in May, I decided to make this video again because of the new information that came out with the cut voice lines, as they added more tragicness. I believe tragicness is a word, as they made the story even more tragic. The fact that the con maker wanted to send the Slayer back in time to a time where the demons were not didn't invade the Earth. That makes me believe that either the Earth was destroyed when the Doom Slayer decided to stay back in Hell to stop the demons. I mean, ironic. Or the demons killed his family, and that's why he decided to stay back in Hell because he had nothing to lose. Still, it is tragic, AF, and that sucks. But anyways, but since that's all the time I had for today's video, please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and a dislike if you disliked it. It is completely fine. Thanks to all of my patrons that made this video possible, and links to all of my social accounts will be down below. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Adios. Bye.